Hello YouTube and welcome to the comic book channel. In today's late video, I'll be showing my new release comic book pickups from local comic book shops for the week of November 22nd, 2022. To get us started from IDW, here is Earth Divers Kill Columbus number one. This is the second printing with a really cool cover on that one. This was a great read. I like that first issue, which that is, but stoked about that. Here is issue number five, which I believe is the final issue in Dark Space's Wildfire. That's the regular A cover. This is such a cool series. I talk about it every time it comes up. If you're not reading it, definitely, definitely check it out. Really fun. We have the final IDW G.I. Joe issue with issue 300. This is a big wraparound cover with like every G.I. Joe character ever on it. Um, I can show the back here. There's the back. And then the front again. So G.I. Joe will go over to its new um, publisher, which I honestly don't remember who it is at this point. Uh, I'm sure you guys know, but I forgot. So goodbye, G.I. Joe from IDW. Thanks for 300 issues. Over to Aftershock. We've got a new number one, and this is the incentive cover, a 1 in 15, I believe. This is Fear of Red Planet, number one. Also picked up the regular cover on that one. I honestly don't know anything about this book other than it looks like it's about Mars. Here's a book that I feel like came out forever ago at this point. Um, I'm excited to read this second issue. This is the 06 Protocol. Don't know if you guys read that first issue, but it was really cool. It was really like left on a good cliffhanger. I felt like it was written well, um, so I'm excited to see where this one goes. Excited that the second issue finally came out. Next up, we've got from Boom Studios, issue number 102 of Sabian's Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. A little bit of sad news this past week in the Power Rangers universe. Of course, the actor that played Tommy the White in Green Ranger passed away. So that really sucks. At least he'll still live on in comics, but no fun nonetheless. Here is a new number one from Boom. This is Once Upon a Time at the End of the World, written by Jason Aaron. Like the cover on that one. I also picked up the local comic shop day um, foil variant. You can see the foil there in the glasses. But, and on the sword, yeah. Some on the sword, some in the glasses. This book is... Uh, Issue number one from Boom Studios of Behold Behemoth. I think this is the local comic shop day variant. Really cool cover on that one. Also from Boom Studios is issue number three of R.L. Stein's Stuff of Nightmares. Great, great Francisco Francavilla cover. He always knocks those out of the park. Really amazing artist. A new number one from Titan Comics. This is based on a TV show, I believe. This is Cayman Writer 01, issue number one. I don't know anything about this. Just picked it up because I try to pick up most of the new number ones that I can. From Asylum Press, here is Vampires. This is, I think, just a one-shot. Yeah, Bloodshot one-shot. Crazy, gory. Vampire cover there. Also picked up the local comic shop day variant for Quick Stops. The Kevin Smith uh, book came out a couple of weeks ago. That matches my... Uh... Chronicon uh, pass there. So pretty cool. Excited to have that added to the collection of Kevin Smith stuff that I collect. Over to Source Point Press, we've got a new number one with Mysterium, the Spectral Servant. Here is what I believe is a one shot. This is cover of Darkness Origins. We've got a new number one from Sumerian. Here is issue number one of Nobody's Girls. 
really dark cover, so you probably can't see much there. Just a little bit. From What Not Publishing, here is the D cover to Alpha Beta's issue number two, I think. Yeah, Alpha Beta's two. A Super Mario 2 uh, homage variant. They're doing video game variants on all of their books, it seems like, so I saw quite a few of those in the latest previews. Here's another one that I don't remember what it's called, so we'll have to open that one up and check it out. We'll have to really open up this one and check it out. This is Born of Blood, issue number one. This is the local comic shop day variant. Nice cover. Get that back in the bag and board. Then we've got this one, which is, is it Death Rage? Again, we'll have to open it up and check it out. Because this publisher does not like to uh, put any information on the back of the cover, so other than it's limited to 1,000. Yes, it's Death Rage issue number one, the local comic shop day variant. I like this cover. This looks promising. Looks cool. I don't know much about Merck Publishing, so have to read that one and check it out and find out. Over to Image Comics, here is issue number eight of Image 30th Anniversary Anthology. Really like the cover there. It's a cool, scary looking snow cover. Whenever something's going on in the snow, it just makes it look scarier. Makes it look like there's just no one around who can help and everything's all white and there's blood and it's just creepier looking. Here is issue 22 of Department of Truth. I'm really surprised that book is still going. Not that I have a problem with it, just surprised that it's lasted this long. We've got issue number three of Creepshow. I'm really, really excited that they're putting out Creepshow. Um, you can see with all the renewed interest and stuff like Ice Cream Man and Ha Ha and stuff like that, that people want horror anthologies still in comic books. So glad they're doing Creepshow. It's fun. Here is Donny Kate and Ryan Stegman's uh, Vanish number three from their imprint on Image Kids Love Chains. I'm kind of over the Donny Kate's thing, and it's one of those things that was so oversaturated for a while, and now it's just whatever. Um, I don't love anything that Donny Kate's is writing, sadly. I really liked when he first came out, of course, and he was doing like redneck and stuff like that, but it happens. Next up is a local comic shop day uh, variant for 8 Billion Genies number one. It's got the sketch cover. Probably should have grabbed quite a few of these. It would have been a great idea, but just got the one for now. We've only got two issues left in this uh at least first volume. There's no way this doesn't go to a second volume. Um, this is uh, issue number six of Eight Billion Genies. Moving over to DC Comics, we've got Detective Comics 1066 with the B cover here. And I had to, of course, get the 90s Rewind cover because it's really awesome. So there's that. Those are all I picked up from DC. Uh, moving over to Marvel. Got Doctor Strange Fall Sunrise, issue number one. This really, really interesting cover. I think this is a wraparound also, so I'll pull out that backing board so we can check it out. It's the back cover there. Some really cool Trad Moore stuff. He's always awesome, as you all know. Got Star Wars Revelations issue number one here. I think this is a one shot also. Here is X Force issue 34. Got Deadly Neighborhood Spider Man issue number two.
have The Amazing Spider-Man, issue number 14. Here's Daredevil, issue number 5. That's a cool cover there. I don't know if that kind of thing's been done before, but I like the way that looks. Great cover here for X-Men 17. And of course, I'm pretty, like... It's hard to say that I love David Nakayama. I um, feel like he's a little played out too on certain things, but he does really well on this cover. This is like his wheelhouse for sure. Midnight Suns, issue number three, right? Yeah, three, great uh, Ileana Rasputin. Just an awesome cover. He does really wonderful with this kind of cover. Also picked up the facsimile of Fantastic Four 52 since I'll never have a Fantastic 452 proper, at least the facsimile will do something. Here is Avengers Forever, issue number 11. Great cover there. Also have All Out Avengers, issue number three. And then last up for brand new books this week is Defenders Beyond, issue number five. I like the cover on that one quite a bit too. It's a cool uh, use of the cover. I don't think the artwork is that particularly great, but it's a nicely done cover. So those are my new pickups. I do have a few things that came in the mail and stuff that I picked up at other shops. Um, here is a Charles Soule uh, web store exclusive of Hell to Pay number one. I honestly had no idea I even pre-ordered this, but it came in the mail, so there that is. Not much information on it out there. Um, I picked up a copy of the Drax number one hip hop variant, as well as this really, really nice Jessica Jones uh, number one hip hop variant. Next up is just a couple of things that I picked up randomly throughout the week. Some aren't even bagged and boarded, so you'll have to excuse me for that. But I did pick up issue number one of Black Summer, written by Warren Ellis. Here's issue number four of Bigfoot, the Rob Zombie uh, four-part miniseries from a few years ago there. I say a few. It was like 2005 or something. Really cool series. I liked that one a lot. I was excited to find that in a dollar bin. Picked up Punisher, The Origin of Microchip, Part 1. Just because it's got an awesome cover. Along with Deathlock, number one, because it equally has an awesome cover. Here's the X-Men the Movie, Toys R Us uh, exclusive from 2000. Again, some of the stuff you find in dollar bins is just crazy. Not that it's like the greatest condition or anything, but for a dollar, I will take that. Here is Darkman issue number two, which is cool. I have a few copies of number one. I've never seen an issue two anywhere. And I found that in a dollar bin. Also grabbed uh, G. Willow Wilson's uh, issue number one of Invisible Kingdom, which is an amazing, amazing book from just a couple of years back. 2018, 19, I think, something like that. Really good book. I got this copy of Kid and Play, number one. Wish it was a newsstand, but that's okay. It's still awesome. Glad to have that. And then I grabbed Black Panther number two, the first appearance of Shiri here. Really excited to finally add that to the collection. Um, it's actually dipped down a little bit in price, so I was able to grab one. Uh, really stoked about that. Excited to have Shiri's first appearance. And that's it, guys. Those are the books that I picked up this week. Please let me know in the comments below what you picked up. Let me know if I missed out on anything awesome. Hope you guys have a wonderful week. Have a great Thanksgiving if you celebrate that. And thank you guys so much, and I'll see you next time.